guys, this is my book review for the Silver Surfer comics from 2014 on. This is Volume 1, New Dawn, which has issues 1 through 5, and material from the all new Marvel Now Point 1, number 1. So, this is a Marvel comic, and they are written by Dan Slott and illustrated by Michael Allred. Silver Surfer is an alien. He is an all knowing being who can see everyone in the universe, and he has cosmic power, which means he can do some really awesome things. Like, he can silver down from this guy down to, like, this fleshy being. And he can has other powers, and he has a surfboard that can take him anywhere in the universe and make him fly. So, awesome. Before he was a good guy, the Silver Surfer was a herald for Galactus. And there are a lot of people in the universe who aren't thrilled when he shows up because of this. And apparently he brings destruction and death with him. So really interesting stuff. Um, but now he is free of Galactus, he's not a herald anymore, and he's a silver surfer, and he's trying to be this awesome being who helps people. Being the good guy. Nice. So he gets a message from the Empiricon that he is their new champion, and he's like, I don't know what the Empiricon is, which is strange because I can see everybody in the universe. So he goes to check it out and he finds out the Empiricon is this impossible place. Anything can happen. It's set up as like this pleasure planet where people can come and have vacation time and shop and ski on flowers and just all kinds of impossible things. <laughs> but they need him to do a mission for them so that they can keep the Empiricon running. The people of the Empiricon, to make sure that he does go through and help them, have taken a hostage. They have scanned him and determined that the one being in the universe that will make the Silver Surfer help them out is Don Greenwood, a human, who he has never met before. Basically, the whole thing is that Don is completely innocent, had nothing to do with anything that's going on, and now he feels responsible for her, and he needs to get her out of there because it's his, his fault alone that she's even there. So they want him to kill the Never Queen. They have stolen her heart. And she was trying, and she's trying to get it back. So in order to keep the Empiricon going, apparently they need her killed. Which kind of seems weird, like if she's dead when her heart stopped. I don't really understand that. <laughs> but the Never Queen is this uh, cosmic being who is even more powerful than the Silver Surfer. And she can see all the possibilities that ever could be. And... When the Silver Surfer gets there, he decides killing her is probably not the best idea in the world. Killing her would set the universe on, like, one track, and you could only ever do one thing. You would be... you would essentially have no free will. So, not a great thing. So, he decides instead to go back to the Empiricon and try to steal her heart back to keep her alive. And he's trying to rescue Dawn when he finds out that she has already escaped prison. Because she is awesome like that. And the two of them now team up to save the Never Queen and the universe and all kinds of magical adventure stuff. These comics remind me a lot of Doctor Who with this alien being who picks up a human and shows her the universe. So loving that. Very nice. Um, it's kind of a quirky comic. It's funny and it's a lot of fun. I love the adventures and seeing all the aliens is great and alien planets. So the art in these comics is really, let's see if I can show you guys. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see this. The art in these comics is really vibrant and colorful and I love the way the aliens are imagined and the worlds are drawn just love the color schemes. It's fantastic. I love it. It's really amazing, brilliant art. It's just a lot of fun. These whole comics are just like amazing fun and adventure and awesome. So I'm totally digging the Silver Surfer comics. They are amazing. Check them out. Um, yeah. Peace out. I love you guys and read on. Bye. <laughs>